welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie and today is Fun Finds Friday, which means it's a little mix of everything that I've been purchasing. I ha do have some thrifted stuff specifically from Goodwill and then one charity thrift shop. And then I also have stuff from Amazon and then something I ordered online as well. So it's a little mishmash of all the things. I don't do these very often. I used to do them every Friday. I would do a thrift with me and then a Fun Finds Friday. And um, people wanted my thrifting haul with my thrifting videos. This was a while ago. So um, I started doing those and then I just did Fun Finds Friday. Not as long or not as often because I don't buy stuff retail very often. And usually when I have thrift, I have already shown you what I have. But recently I've been running in real quick buying stuff for Josie for her school. Um, she loves thrifted clothing for school. So I've been looking for her and while she's like rum rummaging around, I will find something real quick here and there, but most of the time I'm spending it with her. So I did find some good stuff at Goodwill um, and the charity thrift shop. I'm gonna show you the charity thrift shop stuff first because I just got one item and it's another pair of leather shoes, you guys. Now this is a boutique brand, it's called Nicole. And I think they are going out of business because there's only like nine pairs of shoes left on their website and um, they're all like on clearance. So they did have a nice social media page, uh, but also they haven't been posting on there either. So I thought I was really excited to find these because they're in really great shape and you know how I love my uh, leather shoes, right? So these are super cute. Um, I will definitely be getting some use out of these. Next thing I found was a pair of American Eagle jeans. They, I did try them on. They do fit. They are just like the medium waist bootleg uh, jeans. There's no um, rips or seams or, you know, wear or tear on them. Um, and they were $6.99 and they fit like a glove. I'm super excited about these jeans. Oh, I forgot to tell you that those shoes from the charity thrift shop, their shoes are always $2. So I got $2 on those shoes, which is amazing. My last piece of clothing from this, <laughs> from Goodwill. I am so excited about this, you guys. I texted my mom and my sister. I was like, my mom, mom you're probably gonna hate this, but I love it. And she actually texted back, she goes, I love it <laughs> because it is a vintage Twiggy dress. I am so <laughs> excited about this, you guys. This is a 1960s style shift dress with the cool pockets. I am so excited about this. I tried this on too. It also fits like a glove. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. I told Gabe he has to take me out on a date because I want to wear this bad boy so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cute. I love it so much. Um, there's not much more I can say about it, but I just, could you imagine a little hat and some boots, cute little purse. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> so exciting to find fun vintage clothing, right? Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Now, a couple of hauls ago, I found this little guy. I can't remember what I paid for. I think it was $1.99. It's just a sweet little um, lamp shade for like a candle lamp. And I told you I was gonna find a candle lamp to go on that and look what I found. Oh my gosh, this was $4.99. So I definitely paid up for it. I did get 25% off. I did put this, I did put a light bulb in it and plugged it in and it works perfectly. The cord looks great. So I'm excited about this guy. Um, nice little brass lamp, so exciting. Um, and it looks super cute, like this. And I think I'm gonna put this on my kitchen counter. I think, I'm not sure. I'll find a place for it because it's adorable. I love it so much. Perfect for fall too, right? That little lampshade is to die for. All right, speaking of brass, I'll just stay there. Um, this was $2.99 and it is a brass candlestick. I don't find these very often anymore. They get scooped up as soon as they're on the shelves. There was only one, but it's a nice, good quality, heavy 
brass candlestick. So um, I scooped this up for sure. Love that guy. And then I picked up a book. I love a good scary book. And this is called The Knowledge of Good and Evil. Um, and this is basically about a guy uh, obsessed with finding out uh, what happens to your soul. So um, it says it's a tough, savory, formidable thriller by Steve Barry from New York Times, bestselling author of The Emperor's Tomb. So yeah, I can't wait to read this. I think this is going to be so good. Um, but I'm currently reading another book and you're about to see that pretty soon because I'm showing that I'll be showing that to you as well. I'm trying to think when was this written? Uh, July of 2011. So it's not that old, right? It's only like 11 years old. Next up, I'm super excited, but I realized that I think I chipped one of these because I checked these over really well before I brought them home. This isn't it. So I'm, yeah, I did. I must have done it on the, it must have happened on the way home, but I found another set of, let me see, I looked these up because I can never remember the name of them. Um, it is uh, Crystal Dark Durand Antique Clear. So the brand is Crystal Dark Durand and the, and the pattern is antique in the color clear. And they are just these gorgeous little glasses. I had a bunch of these at one point in time and I don't know where they went. I think my kids broke them. Um, and they had eight of these and I grabbed them all. They were $1.99, so I paid $1.50 a piece for them, but it was a steal. This one I'll probably end up just throwing away because it looks like I, I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a teeny tiny little chip crack there on the ridge, which kind of bumped me up because I checked these over so well before we left. I think I broke one, so now I only have seven. Okay, I did order one thing offline as well, and it is the Stanley Adventure Quencher Travel Mug. This sucker is huge, it's 40 ounces, I fill it with water twice a day, and I'm good to go. Right now I have flavored water in it, because sometimes I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> so. Um, the sugar-free flavored water, you know what I mean? So um, I grabbed one of these. These babies are expensive and they fly out the door as soon as Stanley gets them in stock. Um, they were out of stock within six minutes, which is crazy. So if you want one, you have to get on the email list, <laughs> which is what I did because I wanted one for me and for my daughter, Alexandra, for her birthday. So um, I got her those. Uh, I got her one too. Hers is like a grayish purple color. Then I found, well, actually these were sent to me by the company and I will put the link down in the description box for you, but these are super cute, super cool candle lighters. Um, matter of fact, they're so cool that everybody in my family wants one. My husband wants one. My son wants one for his fishing tackle box. Um, my kids are older. My son will be 18 in January. Um, he goes fishing by himself all the time. I'm going to get this out. So they just look like this. They're USB chargeable. There's no gas in here. And it's just this really neat, cool little thing. Um, there's a safety feature button here. So you press that open and it turns on. You see that little blue light there like that. And then here's the button. So let's see. Oh, can you hope? I'm hoping that you can see that. It's just a little arc. And that's how you light the candle. Isn't that cool? My husband was so impressed. He's like, I want one. <laughs> My son was like, I want one. Everybody wants one. They're the coolest things ever. Um, I really enjoy this. Um, so it like takes the, um, it takes an, a step out of, you know, danger out of lighting candles although candles themselves are already dangerous and so are the fire so is the fire but these are really really cool i would feel better about putting one of these in my drawer rather than just having a regular old lighter right for a kid to grab and pull out of the drawer so i was excited about this they sent me a bunch of them in a bunch of different colors it's a good thing because my husband and son want one. I want one for my car. <laughs> it's, it's good to always have a way to start fire if you're out and about, just in case, especially in the cold winter months. 
Um, but yeah, I was really excited about those. So definitely check for the link below because that link will be down in the description box for you. The current book I'm reading is The Invisible Life of a Addie LaRue. It is such a neat concept. It is a girl in the 1700s who just turned three and 20. <laughs> um, so she's getting old and her parents are marrying her off and she was not ready. She wanted to see the world. She did not want to be strapped down to have, you know, take care of children and a home and her husband and not have a life of her own. So um, she ends up making a deal and she ends up um, living all the way to 2014 and Odin is blocking <laughs> and um, nobody can remember her if they if they lose sight of her, they forget about her. It is such a neat concept. Yeah, but eventually, a boy in a bookstore remembers her. So, really cool. Um, I am on page 115 so far. So, and this actually, this um, edition is a special edition. It comes with um, the beautiful embossing and then extra pages on the inside in here, uh, like glossy pages, and then a bookmark. And it was cheaper than the, um, the paperback. So that was neat. I will put the link to all the Amazon stuff down below if I haven't said that already. Then I was looking for a sweater vest. I just thought that was really cute. Josie got one for school and I was like, oh, I want one. They're kind of cool. Um, this is a cropped style um, and I definitely plan on wearing like a button up under it, but it looks like this. This is the color brown that they have on Amazon. Um, it's definitely pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's definitely like pumpkin pie filling color. It's definitely not brown. They had another one that says that was called color did they call it khaki I think that was definitely more brown um, but I really like this color so I grabbed this one and I think this was like $16 it was not bad and the quality is pretty good too so um, yeah I grabbed that for fall and then one more piece that I purchased this was a splurge I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I'm gonna say it's like 30 I'll say mid 30s somewhere just to be safe but it is a shacket. <laughs> and I chose this one. There's some on there that are like cream and gray and uh, beige, and it's like all the rage that everybody's wearing. Uh, but I chose this one because I love the cranberry. I love the fall tones. I don't like the more washed out colors. They don't look as good on me as I, um, they do on other people. So um, I grabbed this one, and it's just a super heavyweight I don't know it's like fleece flannel I don't know it's really heavy and warm um, so I grabbed this one I love it it uh, this one what color what size did I get they are oversized and I didn't want it too oversized I want to say I got a small in this I'm pretty sure I did um, yeah it doesn't say the size on here anywhere unless it does on the tag I'm pretty sure I got a small. If I didn't get a small, I'll put it on the screen to let you know what size I did get. I'm pretty sure it's a small though because I didn't want it too oversized. When it's too oversized, it just, I feel like I'm wearing a tent. I don't like that. So that is what I got on Amazon and Goodwill and the thrift store and online for the last couple of months since the last time I did one of these videos. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll check you later.